Hello folks, welcome back for another video and today I thought we'd work on our menu a little bit because right now it's not the best so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click down here to open the menu up and I'm going to grab all of these and take them just all the way over now if yours aren't lined up like this you can get them lined up by making sure they all have the same anchor point like see how they're all anchored up here and then you can set their position it's the X position the X position will be their left and right whereas the Y position is their up and down so if that number is always the same then they're lined up with each other you're not lined up and if you need to line it up just boom type it in so for this one I'm going to delete that and that because we'll move that into our inventory menu scroll that up a little bit adjust my anchor now I want to right click the canvas backdrop and duplicate it and I'll drag it over to the side and I want to adjust its size down to be well, I'm going to set its anchor up there just to get it out of the way for a bit and I want it to be 100 by 100 because this will be our little icon holder for our different menus because instead of having a bunch of keys commands to open a bunch of different menus we'll just put all of them right along the bottom so we can uh, find them a bit easier and I'm just going to line it up. If you need to line it up a little bit more precise, you can disable this grid snapping or adjust the snap sizes so it snaps to a smaller grid piece. I'm going to just disable it and line it up like that. 1007 seems good. Nope. 1008. Oh, one. <laughs> okay. That's right, X is sideways, Y is up and down. So I'm going to set that to 689, 688. Yeah, lines up good. So 107 and 688. So I'm going to right click, duplicate, and set the new one. Let's see. What happened? Oh, because the anchor snapped up here. At, uh, that's right. It snapped it up to here when I duplicated it. So I'm going to set it, let's see, 1175. I'm going to have four menus, so I kind of want them evenly spaced out to where it's not like janky looking. You can have yours across the bottom, across the side. Same, same effect will be achieved. Um, split the difference. That looks about good. So, 1007 to 1225. Okay, so about 118, uh, 218 difference. Okay, so right click, duplicate. I'm going to set it 688. 1225 plus. 218 would be 1, 4, mm, what was it? 25 plus 118. So 4, 2, I want to say. 225. Oh. And then right click duplicate and then position X 688 nope that's wrong 688 <laughs> and 1443 plus 218 43 plus 18 because the other part is just six Ooh, maybe Ugh. 
1571. Maybe that's no. But you know, I'm just gonna do this one manually. And it turns out I kind of had them too far anyway, so. So 688. 688. And that looks good enough for now. So now we want to add some buttons. I'm going to add one button, make it size 75 by 75. So we don't want it quite as big as the box itself. Right click, duplicate, and when we add the image in in just a minute, oop, it's gonna, um, it'll get a little bit smaller because the, the images have a alpha background, which means part of it will be translucent. And that looks good. Duplicate, grab it, move it in place. Doesn't have to be perfect when you're first putting them. So I'll just grab, move, right click, duplicate, and this one I'm going to set up in the top corner because we want all the menus to have their own little clothes. I'm ready to get back to the action, just boom. So now I'm going to set this one. Let's see. For this, we'll be using the craft resources icon. So I'm going to go into the textures there. For the first one, I'm going to set it as the inventory. And you can tell which one has an alpha or which one has a solid background based on the kind of messy looking background it has. But if you double click and open it, it's just the checkered grid, which means that'll be invisible and you'll just see the button. So I'm going to select that one, go back into my menu, apply it here. And we want to make sure it's drawn as an image for normal, hovered, and pressed. You want to push image push image mm, I actually just thought of something we can um, delete three of these buttons real quick and then because we're going to alter this one just a tiny bit more under hovered you want to make it have a little slightly darker tint and the reason being for that is because when you go in the menu then it shows I'm on that one and when I click it it goes gray this will be a close button, but oops. So now, instead of having to do that for all three of them, we can just duplicate this button. Should have done this from the beginning. That's my bad. Somebody told me a tool tip for duplicating what you have selected. I think it's Control W. Yeah, Control W. You can either right click and duplicate which is what I've pretty much built up the muscle memory for apparently or hit that control W so I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and put it in place and then we could just go through and change the images on all three instead of having to set the, uh, the button tint and everything my second button in mine will be I think crafting. I'm going to set the crafting menu second. And I like to use this one just because I like that bowl. So I'm going to just set it like that. And then it's automatically in place. It works. So see, if I open my menu, now it works too. And it's just a quicker way of doing that. And when you have things that are just going to have slight variations between them, it's easier to just do it all in one and then duplicate it out. Um, let's see, third for mine is going to be the equipment menu. And what did I use for that one? Where's that blue back? There it is. Hello. And here we go. Compile save super important I keep forgetting to mention it but it is super important the last one will be our skill tree because when the character levels up we want them to have some kind of uh, stat points they can uh, distribute into certain things to improve improve their uh, harvesting or their you know crafting speed or you know magic that you know, whatever you want and we'll just put that one right there. 
Now I'm going to go through while all of their anchors are in the top left. I'm going to scroll up. Let's see. I think 10, 19, and 697. Drop it down a little bit. So 697. 697. 697. So that they're all even up as far as left and right. They seem decent. I'm not going to worry about them. For this one, what we want to do is go ahead and scroll with it selected. Scroll all the way down to its events menu and click unclicked. Because this will be something that carries over from all uh, the different menus we're going to create. So unclicked, we want to remove from parent I can go to the end so get player what get player controller drag off set input mode since it's the close button, and that means we're going back to the game, we want to set input mode to game only. Drag off. And since we're not using the widget anymore, we want to set show mouse cursor and make it to where it hides our cursor again. So with all of that done, let's check our menu one more time. It looks decent. I like it. I'll go ahead and adjust the anchor points. Remember you don't just do the buttons, you gotta do the little background for it too. Because it's its own separate entity. And I just like to drag them straight to the middle of the item icon itself. Sometimes it has a little snapping, like it'll just snap to a certain point. That's fine if you want to use it. I don't um, know if it makes much of a difference having it off a little bit I just personally always try to center it up as best I can so I'm gonna drag this over to here check this that looks good oh and for this one I'm gonna go ahead and draw as image as well I don't have an image right now but I'll just do basically the same thing let's see point Two one three five four two. Let's see, hundred point two one three five four two. You can at the beginning set the uh, same hue if you want to. I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but it works. And with that done, now we will go back to our menu under our third person blueprints folder in the blueprints and our HUD elements find the menu and I'm going to right click duplicate it I'm going to call this one oh, equipment screen then I'm going to open that one up and you'll see it's the exact same thing but I'm going to delete all of this in the new one because we won't need it and this will make it easier to Duplicate one more time for an inventory screen. And when you open it up, see, it's already set up. So, so inventory screen, right click, duplicate one more time. Uh, crafting screen. And then we'll duplicate one more time for our skill tree. And. There you go, they're all set up. Well, uh, we'll do one more thing real quick. The one I was going to use for the inventory, personally, you can use a different one, I like this one, is this kind of gears looking, oh, no, this gears looking one. So for each one, I'm going to go into the menu. My inventory is the first slot. So in my inventory screen, I'll set the first one back to that status screen so that when we open new ones we can click that button and it'll take us back to the old screen the equipment screen is the third one 
So on the third one, I'll set it the same way. That way, whichever one we click, it's altered out with that. So back down here to my HUD elements, inventory and equipment I got, crafting. Need to set that one to, oh. I'm gonna open my skill tree while I'm still here so I don't have to scroll back. Go to my textures. Juba 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 do. Uh, right. Nope. Is that? That's it. If you get unsure which one you used, you can just kind of go back here and this will take you directly to it. So on my crafting screen, I'm going to set that one to that. And in my skill tree, the last one. And then they're all pretty much set up. Now they don't, they're not actually built in functionally, like if I click these in the game it won't do anything yet. Um, but we'll go over each one individually so we can go a little bit more in depth on the design and building of each one. But for now we've got the base of them set up. So I think that'll be good for this one. I'm going to start trying to shorten these videos a little bit so I don't bore you all to death with jumping over here, jumping over there. <laughs> but... So yeah, we'll be going over some more inventory or pff, menu screen stuff in the next ones. So I'm gonna give each one its own video so we can go more in depth. But thanks for stopping by.